Hey guys, welcome to F1 Podcast, episode 138. We had Michael Schumacher sort of running around midfield and Max and I were laughing, on, not laughing, but commenting during the race that uh, he was behind Jaime Abishwari for about 20 laps or something. Couldn't, didn't didn't Jaime do well to keep him yeah. behind him? Yeah, he did. And there was also an incident with Lucas Degrassi as well, where Michael overtook him and then Lucas overtook him straight yeah. back. So these kids aren't giving uh, Michael an inch, man. No, they, they are not. They are not. Uh, they have no respect, Max. <laughs> and, and why would they? I certainly wouldn't have any. I, you know, he's another car on the circuit, and uh, if he's there to be overtaken, then uh, then let's do it, mate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I was just disappointed to see Michael at the back of the uh, back of the grid, uh, as I think uh, most. Uh, Shumi fans uh, would would agree. Mm. Um, it's not where he belongs. And yeah. it, was, it was kind of hard uh, watching him putter around at the back. And yeah, look, full credit to uh, Jaime Aguashwari. He wasn't letting Michael through. Yeah. And uh, and he held him off. Mind you, it's very difficult to pass in these cars when you get close to uh, to one another, as Mark Webber will attest. Uh, you lose all downforce, and uh, you know, extremely difficult to uh, to pass. But uh, well done to Jaime, and uh, let's hope that Michael can uh, regather now and uh, and qualify better. Mm. I mean, it's, it's twice now he's qualified in seventh position. Yeah, it's um, twice now that Nico's given him a little... He yeah, gave him a little bit of a slap, mm. you know. You know, as far as I'm concerned, it's 2-0 two, two to Nico. He's twice qualified ahead of Michael. Yeah. And he's twice finished uh, the races ahead of Michael. So. And he's been ahead of him during practice and qualified, you know, and he practice has. as well. So he's maintained a consistent sort of yeah. four tenths, half a second, whatever, yeah. to Michael. So, you know. so Michael's got it all to do. And uh, do I believe he can do that and turn this around? Absolutely. Absolutely, I do, and uh, and Sepang would be the uh, the perfect circuit to do it. And the initial weather reports for Sepang are once again that it's going to be a wet race. Mm. And uh, we all know that uh, Michael is the rain meister, and he loves the wet. All right, let's talk a little bit about um, my T-shirt here, Max. Mark Webber, I've got my Mark Webber T-shirt on. I got a circuit, and there's been a lot of conversation about Mark Webber since the race uh, about him hitting Lewis Hamilton <coughs> in two laps to go. And also just his aggressive nature during the race. And, uh, you know, first thing that I want to say is that um, he overtook Felipe Massa three times during the race. He did a lot of overtaking and, 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 and the guy's not a dirty driver. I don't think that uh, anything that he that happened in the race was, was deliberate or, or intended. No. Um, I, I do accept, though, that Mark was under a lot of pressure and should not have hit Lewis. Um, despite the fact that Lewis was was battling with Alonso, and um, you know he, there was kind of a balking there, I think on that turn where where Mark just said, "Hey, I lost downforce. I didn't mean it. I apologise to Lewis." And um, mm. you know he's been bagged out a lot, and I don't think that that's necessarily warranted, mate. He was having a crack mm. at the end of the day. What do you want to see? Processional, boring driving. Look, he had a go, and it didn't work. Okay, admittedly he took Lewis out, which is which is not good, but he made a beeline for Lewis's garage. Uh, straight after the race to uh, to apologise man to man, uh, which is great. I, I can't say that a lot of other drivers would have done that. Mm. But I think Mark hit Lewis uh, ostensibly because uh, England beat Australia in the Ashes last year and Mark was trying to get one back. <laughs> I, I mean, so. let's, let's be honest. No, no, no. Uh, look, <laughs> it, it was a move that uh, that didn't work and, uh, you know, it was two laps from the end and he was, you know, as, he, as he's been quoted as saying, didn't want to settle for six, so I thought I'd have a crack. Saw an opportunity. Lost all downforce in the end and unfortunately punted Lewis, so I went straight to his garage to apologise because I screwed up. And, yeah. and fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. As I said to you earlier today, Max, uh, the guy could see the podium ahead of him. There was three cars ahead of him on, on you know, the next corner or so. And, um, you know, he had the bit between his teeth and he, he probably did the wrong thing. But, um, you know, certainly in the Australian media, the guy has been absolutely oh, yeah. um, slammed. Yeah. And I... I I agree that he did the wrong thing, but I don't think that he deserves the sort of, uh, you know, attention or... or, or he had a di shot. Disrespect it didn't come him. off. Sometimes when those things come off, it's like, wow, what a genius. In this case, it didn't come off. Yeah. Uh, he had a go, and, uh, you know, it, it, it didn't work. But good on him for, uh, for having a try. 
Oh, mate, well, Jensen Button obviously won the race, and it was mm -hmm. great to see Jensen on the podium for the second year in a row yeah. um, in Australia oh, on the podium on the top step, Max. Yeah. And uh, wasn't he stoked? Wasn't he? Happy? Oh, he was yeah. absolutely pumped up. Yeah. And it's great uh, to see. You know, it's a uh, everyone has uh, has written Jensen off. Let's be honest. Uh, compared to uh, to Lewis Hamilton, everyone said Lewis was going to eat Jensen Button at McLaren this year. And Button's got the first win. So and far. he's got the first win. Yeah. You know. Race two, uh, it's one nil to uh, to Jensen Button as far as I'm concerned, and uh, he drove a good race. Uh, yes, he had luck uh, with Seb Fettel um, uh, pulling out of the race, but you make your own luck in Formula One, and he was there to, uh, to to grab that opportunity, and he did so. And I thought it was a very mature uh, race from Jensen Button, and I'm I'm absolutely thrilled for him and uh, for all of our English mates that uh, that follow Jensen. Alright guys, we're going to do another video after this about Sepang, which is coming up just in a few days' time. Um, but we also want to do a special shout out to the guys that we met up with at the circuit. Yeah. Uh, Steve, Steve and Shane. Uh, it was great to have a beer with you guys and catch up. And we've got a few other text messages from a few other people. So yeah. thanks very much guys. It yeah. was good to catch up with you. And it was. It was yeah. great. Alright, we'll see you soon for the next video guys. Alright, stay tuned. Bye. Bye.